Our final stop brings us to South Avenue and El Tipico, which I'm told is not your typical Mexican restaurant. Let's go check it out. The city of Toledo's oldest Mexican restaurant, El Tipico, is owner Dina Villa's family business, and it continues to thrive nearly 50 years after it first opened. When my parents started it back in 1968, my father was transferred here from San Antonio to Texas uh, as an Air Force recruiter. So my mom kind of got a little bored. She figured we'd be here about four years, <laughs> and she said, you know what, I'll just open up a little taco stand while we're here. And that was back in 1968, wow. and here we are still. El Tipico, that means typical? Yes, in English, yeah, and in Spanish, it would be the same thing. It depends on the inflection that you use upon the word. So it could be typical, or it could also mean like the real thing. So if you say típico mexicano, you're saying the like typical Mexican, like authentic Mexican. Okay, so that's why it fits the restaurant. It so does. It's not your typical Mexican restaurant, but it's it's authentic Mexican. Yeah, we do our absolute best. My mother and father, their favorite restaurant in San Antonio was uh, called El Típico. Okay. So she named it El Típico Taco, but since then we've dropped the taco. And they dropped the title with good reason, as El Típico serves a variety of authentic dishes, which Dina goes to great lengths to make as healthy as possible. Over 75% of our food is, or, is uh, certified organic. Okay. Uh, if it's not, then we do our absolute best to make sure it's chemical free. We buy a lot uh, here locally from local farmers as well. And it, it's, we've, what we've found is we have a whole new clientele coming and searching for us. We tried everybody else. You know, it just doesn't have the same taste. Yeah, it's like homemade. It's good. Yeah, we come all the way from Las Cruces, New Mexico, so we've lived out there for the last 10 years, and uh, this is uh, one of the places that we usually visit when we come to town. It is just so fresh and so good. Dina has offered a gluten-free menu, and I have not only celiac sprue issues, but I also have an allergy to wheat, so it makes it easier for me to eat here. I've always been able to be here, and I've eaten here since they opened in 1968. And God bless Dina. El Tipico is also known for what you won't find on the menu. Uh, no liquor, no booze, no alcohol. <laughs> Never had it's, it. It's all about the food here. Yeah. Um, in all honesty, I always try to tell people that, hey, we're, we're here to support other local restaurants. Come here, enjoy your meal. Yeah. You know, get a full tummy, and now you can go out to other restaurants. Exactly. Extend the evening, right? Mm -hmm. And support other local restaurants and have a drink somewhere else. That's right. Yeah, yeah. good way to look at it. And uh, we're going to be trying some of this food here. What are we making today? Oh, chicken mole. Ooh, mole. Yeah. Well, I'm excited. Let's yeah. go. Let's go find out okay. about this right now. All right, All right. Sounds good. We're using organic chicken here. So this is what actually mole sauce is made from. The word mole means that it's ground up. Molido is where it comes from. Molido. Molido. Gotcha. And there's so many different kinds of moles that you can make. There's mole verde, there's mole rojo, there's mole poblano. This is mole a la típico, how's that? Sounds <laughs> good, I like it. <laughs> okay. Not your typical mole. Not your typical mole. I think I've overused that joke. So most of everything I'm showing you is gonna get roasted and I'm just showing you what the ingredients are. Okay. Mole can go up to like 24 ingredients. There's so many. Yeah. There's so many things that you can add to it. Um, so how many ingredients are we going with? Well, I don't know. Can you count? What do you see? Five, Five six. six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Good. We didn't stop at thirteen. And then we're gonna put tortillas in there, so that's fifteen. And then we got our chicken, chicken so that's sixteen. 16. So sixteen for us today. So when this is all done, when these are, are roasted. And then we, we parboil them and we blend them, it'll end up looking similar to this. Wow. Right here. Can yeah. I try that? Or should I wait till the end? You're gonna wanna wait. This is just okay. like pure chili pepper. It's not fun. <sighs> like, is I it mean, really? You can, but it's not. No, tasty. I don't think we wanna see that. No, I don't Do think we so. wanna see that? We no, probably don't wanna, you see, don't wanna that. see that. Do you yeah. need me to do anything? I have hands. Actually, you're gonna start seeding these. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the stems off. Okay. And just go ahead and start taking the seeds right out of all the peppers. While you're doing that, I'm gonna work on the garlic cloves. Okay. So, do you know that we're gonna put chocolate in this recipe? No. All right, so. I was a little curious when I saw the cinnamon, and yep. it's almost like a dessert. So this is the chocolate, and then we also have sesame seeds, and that all gets roasted as well. 
Um, it is like a dessert. It's sweet and spicy. Mm -hmm. All right, so now you're doing a fabulous job. Am I really? Because yeah, I don't feel really, like no, I am. You really this are. one just seems mangled. It's okay. Those raisins is the other part. So that's the other magical part of this. Yeah. So Look this at that. we're also going to roast, and then those are going to be put in water, and then and they're going to plump up. A lot of raisins. Mm hmm. Plumped up. Hey, did you count that when you were doing your 15, 16 over here? I counted each one individually. <laughs> did you? I did. <laughs> okay. A million right. raisins here. All right. This is a million and 16 ingredient mole we're making. Well, now that you know what all the major ingredients are, then yeah. we can pretty much stop and we'll head over to the stove and we'll fry some of this up. So I'm done de-seeding? You're done de-seeding okay, for good. right now. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with roasting these peppers. But remember I was talking about that chicken. And there it is. So this you would probably do ahead of time. Okay. I want you to throw peanuts in there. One for me? Uh, inside, okay. in the pan. Oh, okay. Yes. How many, all of them? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, go for it. I don't know, pick a pan and throw that in there. Okay. What are those again? Pumpkin seeds. Almonds, I take it? Yep. So we're gonna roast these guys. Spanish peanuts? They are Spanish. They speak Spanish. Do you hear them? They're crying out oh, in yeah. pain mm -hmm. right now. That's so horrible. What a nice image you put in here. <laughs> You're getting ready to eat. What is that again? Those are sesame seeds. All right, now look at all these ingredients. There isn't one vegan, vegetarian friend of ours that isn't going to be happy to eat this yeah. without the chicken. Exactly. So what we do, we do a separate batch where the mole is, we don't use any chicken broth okay. for the mole. That's how we're able to serve our uh, mole sauce on a daily basis on our enchiladas, and that's vegetarian and vegan friendly. Yeah, none of it's uh, cross-contaminating here. It's all separate no. in their own little worlds. So now we're doing the tortillas? Yes, because these tortillas, we're gonna put this in the mole as well. Okay, and then pretty soon what's gonna happen next is uh, these go into some boiling water with our raisins, and then we throw those into the blender. Okay. So all this is gonna get put into a processor, and then once that's done, then we're gonna come back and we're gonna put it with our chicken. Sounds good. Those are your raisins, and they okay. got clumped up. See your peppers? Yeah, there they are. That's, There's the red one. That's that's how they end up yeah. turning out, yeah. Yeah, they end up looking like that. Put that on. We're gonna blend it. All right, so then this would go on the stove, and we'd simmer that until it turns to a really pretty brown, dark brown color. Uh, then you're gonna decide at that point if you want to add a little salt to it or if you need to add a little bit of the organic sugar. Okay. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna to serve you a plate. What do we have here? Oh, look at that. We have your chicken mole. The whole presentation. And we have tortillas. Okay, local food. Local. Local and organic here at yeah. El Tipico. Mmm, fantastic. Thank you very much, Dina. You're welcome. We You're welcome. appreciate it. It was nice meeting you. I'll typical, and I'll say it again, not your typical Mexican restaurant. Very good. Mm -hmm.